Hi, this is Grace Pamela at StarMatter.com, and today I'm going to show you how to fix dark roots that might be showing through your client's hair, and also just in general how to even out the color, um, and also maybe lighter hair that needs to be darkened to match the rest of the hair. So in case you have um, light roots showing through your client's hair, for example. So this is very handy for if your clients are kind of in a hurry for their photo shoot and they don't have time to get their hair done and go to the salon or maybe they just, um, you know, you have color cast showing in your client's hair or anything like that. It can be very handy to know. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my actions. I've already uploaded my Glamour on a Makeup Hair and Essentials, um, Hair Essentials for uh, Photoshop and this is also this also can be used in Photoshop Elements. So what I did is I went to Load Actions and I went and clicked my Action Collection so that I have it here. If you don't see your Action Panel, you can go to Window and select Actions and then it should pop up for you. And that's just this little play button here. Okay, so for her, um, this is a gorgeous little girl and I don't know if her hair is naturally growing in darker or if she had her hair processed. Um, but either way, I'm just showing you as an example. She's gorgeous just the way she is. Um, but I just wanted to show you how we can fix that if you wanted to. Or maybe if your clients wanted to. Um, okay, so what we're going to want to play is touch up light, or touch up dark roots, and then press play. Press continue. Now it's, it's telling you, I'm going to go back. Um, right here, you want to make sure your eyedropper is set, um, to all layers. So I'm just going to show you. So right up here you'll see your dropper tools after clicking the droppers and you want to make sure it samples all layers so that way when I poke around for a color it's selecting from this background layer otherwise it won't know what to select the color from. Or you can just go ahead and um, click a color from your color picker box. It does not matter whatever you prefer. And then just select any random color. It's going to be most likely not matching up right away and I'll show you how you can fix that. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're in your group layer mask here and you want to have a brush selected and a white brush and you want to make sure that brush is soft. So I'm going to select soft round which is the first brush that usually pops up and I'm going to make sure my hardness is at zero and I'm going to make my opacity 100%. You can adjust the brush size um, via your brush settings here or you can select the left and right bracket key on your keyboard. And again, you want to make sure you're painting in the black layer mask for the group. Because it's not only changing the color of your roots, but it's also lightening them for you. So you can go ahead and start painting over your hair. And don't worry if it doesn't 100% match up, we can go in and fix that. Okay, once you have it on there, you can go ahead and double click your root color and you can change it so it matches a little better. Another thing you can do is you can lower the opacity a bit so it blends in a little bit more. It just completely depends on your client's um, hair color. And you can also change the um, lightness that you want it to be set at by changing the opacity of your light and roots layer. If it doesn't quite blend in, you can go back up to your uh, layer mask group, select a black brush or white, depending on if you want to blend it in a little more with color. See, I'll show you really quick. And I'm, I lowered the opacity of my brush, and you can kind of blend it a little bit better. And then you can also do the same with black and kind of blend it back to the original color a little bit better. I'm actually going to undo that one because I don't want to get that color back. Another thing that I like to do, um, once you're done, you can lower the opacity of the entire group. And then you can also, if it's not quite matching up or it's not quite light enough for you, you can run the action again. And then you can go ahead and go in and get the areas that you want to make a little bit lighter or make it match a little bit more. And 
And again, the same thing, you can come in here and completely adjust it to however you see fit. And you can blend it a little bit more. Um, also, you can hit the backslash key on your keyboard and you can kind of see where you brushed and where you didn't. So you want to make sure you don't get it like up here where it's not on the client at all. Then you might start to get a um, lightning halo effect around your client and you definitely don't want that. Okay, so just a quick example. Um, it's really light now and I might lower that, but just a quick example, you can see here we have pretty much all the same color hair now and no roots. And I'm going to go back up here actually. This is one I worked on earlier where I spent a little bit more time on it and you can see it looks a little bit better. So here's our before and after for that and I'm going to go ahead and go over to another image. This one is by me, Summer on a Photography. <laughs> and I'm just going to show you, you can either um, her hair is, I think, naturally uh, kind of ombre like this, and with the light hitting it, um, it kind of looks, I think it looks really pretty, but I just wanted to show you an example of what you could do. You could either make it all one color and lighten, um, so that, that would be touch-up dark roots that I used, or you can go in and you can also darken hair that you don't want to be light. So let's say you have um, someone with dyed black hair and they have blonde hair peeking through in the roots that would be a very good example for why you might need to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do um, how to darken lighter hair. So I'm going to go ahead and play touch up light roots. And here also it gets very complicated because it's almost black and purple so it's kind of hard to select a color so I'm going to show you how you can fix that also. I'm going to set my opacity up, and I'm going to go ahead and paint. Now you can see it's almost black. So it looks a little funny, but I'm going to... Normally I would go in and fix it right away, so that way when I'm working on it, it's not so drastic. But in this instance, I'm just going to show you um, with it black, so you can see what I'm doing. Also, if you make any mistakes at all, you can just change. You can either hit Edit, Undo, or you can change back to a black um, paintbrush, and you can kind of undo what you did. And I'm just doing this really quick. So now we have our horrible hair color. <laughs> so you can go ahead and double click the root color and you can kind of play around with it a little bit more. And then also you can lessen that root color so it matches a little bit more. And you can also change the opacity of how dark you want it. And then you want to blend it a little better. So there's a dark spot right here and that's because it's not blended very well. So we're going to lower the opacity and we're going to kind of blend that a bit better. Now I'm going to lower the opacity of my brush because we don't want too much erased. And then again, you can come in here and completely um, adjust the opacity of the entire thing if you want. So this is one where I spent a little more time on it. Um, I did basically the same thing. I just, it actually almost looks identical. It's just a little more brown. I think I tweaked with the color a little bit more. But you can definitely see the before and after. Now you know how to change the 
light color to match um, the darker color of their hair. So I just wanted to show you that example so you know how to do it both ways. So I hope you learned a lot. It was definitely fun to go over this with you. I know it's very particular, um, a very particular you know, need. You might not have clients for a while that need that, but sometimes you might. So it's definitely useful to know just in case. So that's how you fix light or dark um, root colors. So thank you so much for watching.